Welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters Book 5, the last book, the last chapter of this saga. But we still got a few episodes left. Shepard still blames herself for keeping Liko here. But it was my doing. And if he'd gone with me to Bien, she'd be dead now. I'm grateful to your goddess for bringing you back to me, Kian. Unharmed. In time to fight alongside your sisters and brothers. I'm sorry for defying you, Shepard. Sorry? Child, you did the right thing. I was blinded by fear. I just wish Liko had disobeyed me and gone with you to Guillen instead of... <sighs> he tried. He tried. If he had, Shepard would be dead. If Liko had joined me on Guillen, he'd probably be alive. There's nothing I can say to ease her guilt. Yeah. Liko would have been proud to fight alongside you, Kian. And I am proud to call you my friend. Liko would have been proud to fight alongside you, Kian. And I am proud to call you my friend. You've come a long way from the broken man who arrived in the Enclave many months ago. You believed in me, Shepard. That's what saved me. I played only a small part. You began believing in yourself. That's what mattered the most. May your goddess continue to watch over you. We need all the help we can get from all the deities that watch over our mortal realms. Go now. Fight. Save us all from chaos. I'll do my best. Hami's men stand with us, but too many are still loyal to Vamon. It'll be brother against brother tonight. Lako Falk. Rebel. Shepherd. Rebel. Soldier. He's a guy we know. No, not him. We know that guy. That guy. I'll join Anik's team going into Coldstone. If we can free the imprisoned rebels, we'll improve our chances. And if Benry may is still alive, I want to bring her home. So much is on that man's shoulders tonight. I hope they're stronger than they look. Those shoulders... Anna, Elena, we haven't... Yeah, it's fine. I'm not... Talked and... Sorry, what were you saying? Nothing. Uh, don't worry about it, Kian. Really. I'm glad you're back and in one piece. We have a job to do. We can talk after good yes after we really should I'll escort Ferdell to the engine house in the green and watch over him while he does whatever it is that he needs to do Kian are you sure we can trust him do we have a choice yes I, I believe we can okay he'll be ready when you found your way into the tower yeah I'm pretty sure we can trust him oh, that's something Hami said Utana learned of my trip to Guillen from a trusted source. I wonder whether she is Utana's trusted source or not. It doesn't matter now. We have other concerns. How long? Something Hami said. Did you tell Utana about Guillen? I. Uh, all right. Yes. Yes, I did. It was. You did. I what? did it to help you. I trust the mother. I always have. Ever since. Well, you know, you and her, you saved my life half a lifetime ago. I'm sorry for trying to help. If you hadn't told Utana, I'd be dead now. So, thank you. That's it. Thank you. We might never see each other again, and... I can't give her what she desires most. But I can still grant her a kiss. But you're gay. I can't give her everything she's hoping for, but I can at least say something to make her feel better. Words can never bridge the gap between us. I can't give her everything she's hoping for. We'll see each other again. Really? Well, if you say so. You have a lot to learn about women, Kian. But I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, Elena. Are we leaving soon? 
because if we wait much longer, I'm afraid I'll just curl up into a ball and be of no use to anyone. The streets are crowded with revelers, and the Azadi are staying out their way. There's no better time. This whole reaping thing is giving them the willies. It's way too pagan for our pious occupiers. I'll find a way into the heart of the tower. And we'll stand by and wait for you to contact us. You still believe you can shut the engine down remotely for Daz? With your help? Unless they've disconnected the pipes. Yes, I believe so. I know they're still waiting on the final calculations to be sent to the tower, so if we hurry... Then let's not waste any more time. Just get inside the tower and find the engine and contact us via the speaking tube. I'll walk you through the steps needed for me to take control, and then I'll force the engine to crash. Crash? crash. If we feed it the wrong instructions, the engine will stop working. Like a, a, a cloud ship that um, crashes into a mountainside. It's okay. complicated, but really quite easy. We'll have to take your word for it. I've worked on the engine for years. I know how it operates. Let's go. Be safe, Keon. If you die, I'll be very cross with you. I do like how they changed the characters' look, like Zoe's and Keon's look, uh, between episodes and stuff, but I uh, did like Keon's look better with the beard. Looks like we're having a party. Got it. The Reap Moon appears to turn man into beast. Find a way into the tower. Okay. I can't believe it's Reap Moon already. I've been counting the days and now it's here. I hardly know what to do with myself. Naughty, naughty, what's going on over here? There, having fun. Probably having their own party. Why are they standing in a queue to this? I don't envy them their guard duty tonight. I don't think they're enjoying the festival much. Ralph Rock. That guy puking? This guy peeing or probably puking? If we're lucky, they'll burn the city to the ground. Guy probably puking. <laughs> Another guy probably puking. Another guy puking. <laughs> oh, people getting on. Reap Moon's Eve must be very important to Mercurians if they're willing to make such fools of themselves. <laughs> But you're closed, people. Everyone's drunk, uninhibited, agitated. This could go very wrong, very quickly. That's, That's it. A, there's a lot of dry humping got going Keep on going. here. Oh, God, that feels great. You don't mind being washed? Oh. Can I talk to you? Uh, oh, what are you looking at, you perv? What are you doing, you perv? of a century. Watch the wicker witch burn. Oh, nice. Oh my god, are they burning that tree down? Is that cool? Gather round, friends, gather round. A most joyful Reap Moon's Eve to you all. Witness 
a magical abomination has appeared among us on this holiest of holy oh, that's nights. That guy. It's an affront to decency and humanity. A foul, feathered, chattering foul. Okay, joke's on me. Open this cage right now. It speaks with the voice of the great necromancer. The voice of the what now? Hold your breath, feathered servant of the shadow. Keep your obscene beak shut. Can't argue with the obscene beak bit, but I'm not liking this whole bonfire thing you've got going on. I smell charred feathers. Soon the grand ceremony begins. And the great engine ushers in a new age of reason, logic, and humanity. And an end to sorcery. We cannot let this foul heresy poison the night with its squawks and feathery filth. This false foul mocked me once before and caused a fellow follower, a fair friend of the cause, great physical pain and discomfort. The man may never be able to drink without dribbling again, all because of this... this freak of nature! I, Honor Hilaris, candidate and faithful servant of humanity, will personally light the bonfire to rid Mercuria of this final remnant of diseased magic, honoring our ancient human traditions, and... You gibbering coward! When are you going to shut up and just go away? People are sick and tired of your racist tirades. If anyone here should be burned on that bonfire, it's you. Killing that poor bird is the complete opposite of what the reaping's all about. How dare you claim to represent humanity when there's nothing human about you at all? Hear, hear! And you! You're supposed to be keeping the peace, aren't you? When were you planning to put a stop to this? Are you just gonna let that madman burn birds and incite violence in the city you've sworn to protect? We do not intervene in local tradition, madam. Oh, do intervene. No one here would mind it one bit, I'm sure. Local tradition? Local tradition? This farce has absolutely nothing to do with local tradition. We don't burn poor defenseless animals in bonfires on Reap Moon's Eve. Well, it's not an animal, is it? What? I mean, it's magical. It, it's a talking bird. Not an animal, per se. Technically, the man is not wrong. I'll give him that. Of course, it's an animal. Magical or not, it's a living creature, and you should put a stop to this right now. Uh, yeah, what she said. Sorry, madam, but unless an actual human is being harmed, we cannot intervene. Ruddy coward. That goes for the lot of you, especially that pig. Cowards. All right, gotta save Crow. He should get involved. Hello? That's what they're here Help for. Me. But there's, no, there's a here. bird in that cage. A caged bird. In a bird's... What do you want, bird? I, I don't have time for... I know you. I've seen engravings. You're Kian. Keep your voice down. Where did you see those engravings? I spent some time in Sadir. I'm Crow, friend of April Ryan and Zoe Castillo. You were a friend of April. Friend, partner, sidekick. I came back to Mercuria to find you, believe it or not. And since you're the reason I'm in this predicament, you have to help me. And quickly, because soon, if things go the way they appear to be going, I'll be very, very hot. I'm sorry, Bird, but I need to find a way into the tower. And time is the running... The tower? The Azadi Tower? Big white, cloud-piercing edifice? I know a way into the tower. A secret way. Get me out of this death trap, and I'll get you inside the tower, I swear on my hatchling nest. If you're lying, I'll snap your scrawny neck. Cross my beak and hope to die, which is a distinct possibility. Quickly now, that madman won't orate forever. Alrighty. Carriers of foul fevers and In this city, they have contagions. bathtubs for birds. The Northlanders are an odd folk. Grapes of Nedra. I'm unfamiliar with this wine. It's Rape Moon's Eve, sir, and you <laughs> appear to be uninebriated. For shame, public intoxication is practically mandatory this evening. You're in luck, sir. Most stalls have shut down for the evening, but we're open and will remain open until the very last bottle has been sold. 
which from my experience won't be too long now. The discriminating Northlander knows we're a notch above the rest. No Southlands imports here, sir. These bottles are tapped in the Northlands with wine from the tart purple grape. I'm sure your wine is more than adequate, merchant. Oh. oh. Very well. What can I get you tonight, most sober of sirs? Perhaps you want to sample a bottle before you buy? I'm a small sample before I make my decision. Which wine, sir? Dragonfire, Purple Rose of the North, Grapes, Northland, Q and Red. I don't know. Purple Rose of the North. Purple Rose? This is supposed to be a wine. Excellent choice, sir. This one is both tart and celebratory. A melancholy Just mix pour of... Just wine, please. Very well. There you go, sir. Give that a smell, a swirl, and a sip. I think this is more than enough Northland's wine. No one could possibly need any more. I think I have to do something like and come to this conclusion. You could no? look it up in books. <sighs> Magic <sighs> Donkey's urine. That's what this is. <laughs> Ass piss. And it kicks like a mule. Ass piss. Have you finished sampling, sir? If so, please return the cup and we can commence our business. Okay. What about this? Grapes of Nedra. I'm unfamiliar with this wine. Hello again. Changed your mind, sir? Do you perhaps want a little sampler? I'm not a small sample before I make my decision. Which wine, sir? I guess this. Excellent choice, sir. Tart. This one is both tart and celebratory. A melancholy Just mix pour the of wine. Very well. There you go, sir. Give that a smell, a swirl, and a sip. I can't remember what to do. A thimbleful of so-called wine. <sighs> Donkey's urine. That's what this is. Ass piss. And it kicks like a mule. Soft on magicals, we've been soft on those who support sorcery and harbor non humans. No, a pump, no. an odd that vegetable native to the Northlands. We have nothing like it in Azadir. Filthy as sin, all of them. They reek of foul spirits and human sick. Well, which one's least filthy? No, nope. they're all filthy, but empty, not surprising. I could use this to grab the bird's cage, but I'd be spotted immediately, and I can't... No. I need to find a way to remove Hilaris and the crowd of onlookers before I can grab the cage. An empathy than humans. It's a scientific fact. Learned scholars have measured scores. You can look it Can't stay away, can you... I'm a small sample before I make my decision. Which wine, sir? Try this one. Excellent choice, sir. This one is both tart. Just pour. Very well. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. Odd. I don't remember the tasting cup being quite so expansive. Hmm. 
Now what to do with this? Oh, I drank it all. Oh, this is what passes for wine in the Northlands. Weak, sour, and offensive to the senses. Just like most Northlanders. Oh, goddess, save me. And the grapes that died an ignoble death for the sake of this tasteless swill. What can I get you to know? I'm a small... Which wine? Um... I guess he'll react. Interesting. You want to sample the dragon's fire? I want... As you... A one, two, three, hmm, four, five, eight, nine, ten. Odd. I don't remember the tasting cup being quite so expansive. This is a lethal amount of hard liquor. On the positive side, it's eating away at the filthy crust lining the cup. Drink that? All of it? I'd prefer to die with honor in battle. It'd be a lot less painful. This seems like an obvious target for sabotage. There should be enough. Sounds like Hilaris is about to wrap up his mad rambling. I just have to wait Some of them. and watch. Some may even be said to be um, beautiful. Oh, that's but the, that was but enough. enough talk. This bewinged demon, this symbol of sorcery, this affront to humanity, must burn. Uh, mm, must he? Uh, must is a very strong word. I'm not sure it's a word I use to... Uh... Burn, you transmogrified necromancer! Burn! Oh boy, here we go. Oh! Ah! Who's burning it out, guy? God save me! God save me! You not break it up. Nothing to see here. Wait, we need to get him to a healer now. God has protect us. He'll be lucky to survive the night. Right, party's over. Go on, all of you. Go home. Be with your families. Good job. And now. And the crow is loose. What do we do now, crow? Talk about cutting things close. I smell of singed plumage and smoke. So, were you lying to me about that secret entrance to the tower? No, I would never. Uh, well, I totally would. That would be just like me, lying to save my tail feathers. But I was actually telling the truth. I do know a way into the tower. From below. No? Not making much of an impression on you. Okay then. Follow me, big guy, and I'll lead you through the darkness into the light. The light, in this case, being the tower. More specifically, that weird pillar of dreamy light rising into the center of the tower with all the rotating metal bits. You mean the engine? Is that what they call it? The weird thing with the gears and the levers and the metal what's-its? Then yes, the engine. What, you don't want to go there? Lead the way, bird. And fast. Crow. And I'm useful again. Like, I'm glad it's not a way in from the top, so... That works. Balance. Roper class. Amateurs, 
Don't they know who they're dealing with? Don't they know who I... Finally. What took you so long? I've been in here for days. You fool. How did you manage to get yourself locked up? Some people don't appreciate art. Come. You need to prepare the engine for the ritual. Uh, yes, Master. About bloody time. Uh oh. Home sweet home. I'm sure you remember this place. I mean, oh. you raided it and arrested everyone and directly contributed to closing it down for good. Remember? Yes, I remember. bird. I remember. Good. Yeah, it's a far cry from how it looked back in those happy days. But I've nested here. It's not bad. Also, it's Crow. My name is Crow. What does this place have to do with the tower? Okay, right. So, there's a secret passage leading from the cellar into a ruined subterranean city below Mercuria. Both April and Zoe used it. I've been through there a few times myself. Purely for research purposes, of course. Not to look for... Treasure. Where's the cellar? Behind the bar and to the right. Alright. This is gonna end this episode. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with the next one soon.